हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल टॉक्स ऑन होम्योपैथी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ ड्रग प्रूविंग आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस गाइडलाइंस गिवन बाय मास्टर हनेमान इन ऑर्गेन ऑफ मेडिसिन फ्रॉम एफोरिज्म 105 टू 145 लेट स्टार्ट विथ डेफिनेशन ऑफ ड्रग प्रूविंग it is the process of acquiring knowledge of instruments intended for the cure of the natural disease it is systematic and orderly way of investigating the pathogenic power of the medicine on the healthy human being of different age group and of both sexes objectives of drug proving are to know pathogenic power of medicine to observe and record alterations of normal function and sensation to observe the effect of drug on physiological functions and structures there are two prerequisite of drug proving first is drug or medicinal substance and second is prover there are certain selective criteria of prover like drug proving must be done on healthy human being of different ages and both sexes it must not be done on sick person and on animals so let us discuss the disadvantages of animal proving the first we cannot get the subjective symptoms we all know that the subjective feelings like mental state mental activities and physical sensations are most important in our homeopathic prescription so in animal proving we are not going to get any subjective symptoms as animals cannot express them the second disadvantage is the susceptibility of animals and humans are different so we cannot judge the effect of medicine because there are difference in susceptibilities in both the third is the effect of particular substance is different on animals and humans so if we want to treat humans it's not advisable to depend only on experiments conducted on animals as the effect of medicine is going to vary from species to species the information collected after animal proving is always incomplete and deficient the fourth disadvantage is the structure of organs and systems are different in animals and humans so again we are not going to get the right data on physiological action of a particular medicine the fifth disadvantage is the finer subjective symptoms such as modalities and sensations not available by animal proving also mental and physical general symptoms are also not available in animal proving now let us discuss the disadvantages of sick proving the first disadvantage of proving on sick person is it will give mixed picture of disease symptom and medicinal symptom so we are not going to have the true pathogenic property of a medicine it may produce symptoms with altered intensity so if we prove a medicine on sick person there are chances that the intensity of proved symptoms gets altered and we will get a wrong pathogenic data of a medicine sometimes medicine can cure the existing symptoms of disease so if we prove a medicine on a sick person there are some chances that medicine will cure the existing disease and the patient will return to its normal healthy state and it is the ultimately the failure of experiment
improving on sick person can produce complex disease so there are chances that proved medicine will produce a certain disease condition which will combine with the existing disease and produce complex disease confusion in forming the final confusion sorry conclusion of proving information so we cannot conclude anything after the complete experiment of proving on sick person the effect of proving medicine can vary existing disease can overpower the action of medicine producing either disease symptoms in high intensity or making effect of medicine in very low intensity in all those instances it is very difficult to judge the pure action of medicine next disadvantage is sick person might had taken some medicine which will also produce its own effects on organism and on action of proving medicine so the proving data containing those symptoms of other medicine is not useful for any homeopathic practice if proving done on sick person there are chances that the proving medicine can increase the existing symptoms making the disease very fatal to prover's health sick person cannot concentrate on proving experiment well and if he is not going to concentrate on experiment we are not going to date the ultimate characteristic data at the end of the proving experiment now let us discuss the advantages of proving on healthy human being which is given in aphorism number 108 in organon of medicine the first advantage is true pathogenetic power of medicine will be ascertained so this kind of proving is going to give you a very perfect and true pathogenetic property of a medicine the second advantage is we can obtain exact subjective symptoms the third advantage is we can obtain the characteristic mental and physical symptoms it is easy to ascertain exact morbid state of a medicine and we can know the medicine is capable to produce which kind of different disease condition the symptoms related to human organism can only be determined by complete proving on healthy human being healthy person can observe all the changes developed in his body during proving very well as he is enjoying his healthy state so he can devote his all time to observe the changes produced during the drug proving the medicines are going to be used to treat disease of human being only so it is mandatory to know what kind of effects a medicine is having on human organism which is only possible by proving on human only next advantage is it improves health of prover so repeated proving is going to improve the prover's health and he is going to become less susceptible to future diseases now let us discuss the qualities of prover to make experiment of drug proving one must select drug and prover with much precautions the outcome of whole experiment depends on drug and prover so the prover is only source of information of drug proving and we can say that the future of science is depends on data given by the prover the prover being the most important part of drug proving so he must possess certain characteristic so the result of proving will be most accurate and can be used for treatment of disease according to homeopathic principles the first quality of prover is he must be healthy 
हेल्थ रिलेटेड टू मेंटल फिजिकल एंड ऑन अ मोरल लेवल द सिख प्रूवर इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिव अ ट्रू पिक्चर ऑफ मेडिसिनल एक्शन ही विल नॉट ऑब्जर्व हिज सिम्टम्स ड्यूरिंग प्रूविंग विदाउट एनी डिस्टर्बेंस सो वी नीड हेल्थी प्रूवर The second quality of prover is we need delicate, sensitive, and irritable prover. So a minute dose of medicine can produce a effect in a very well manner. This quality is given in aphorism number one twenty eight, one twenty one of organ on of medicine. The third quality, which is given in aphorism number one twenty six, is prover must be trustworthy. Drug proving is not a mechanical process, and its result containing more of subjective findings than objective data. So we need a prover on whom we can trust, and we can have a true data of a drug. then we need a prover with a full conscience we need a prover with a full morality and we are not going to get any wrong information from the prover we need a prover who is enough intelligent to observe and to understand and who can explain his own symptoms to the experimenter and we can obtain a thorough pathogenetic property of a medicine so we need a prover who have a intelligence so he can explain his mental and physical symptoms in well manner also the prover must be a lover of truth which is given in aphorism number One thirty-seven. Again, we need a prover who is temperate in all respect. A prover having quality of hypersensitivity or hyposensitivity towards stimulus is going to give us wrong picture of medicinal property. We need prover who is a good observer, so he can observe all his morbid symptoms and. he is going to explain all the symptoms to the experimenter a prover must be honest and obedient so he can follow each and every instructions given by experimenter next we are going to discuss the precautions to be taken before and after drug proving experiment so it is a scientific methodology based on certain laws and principles to make experiment of drug proving successful one must follow some rules and regulations before and during process precautions regarding drug substance a well known medicine in pure form is given in aphorism number 122 of organ of medicine the medicine selected for proving must be well known in its physiochemical properties it should be taken in pure form without any admixture of foreign substances otherwise it's not possible to know pure effects of medicinal substances medicine should be taken from genuine sources after its quality assurance only the unknown substances are very dangerous for life of provers if it has been proved without any investigations the medicine should be proved in a simple and unadulterated form the indigenous plants those obtained from native places should be taken in the form of freshly expressed juice mixed with little alcohol to prevent it from spoiling exotic medicinal substances those brought from foreign places obtained in the form of powder or tincture 
prepared by freshly expressed juice mixed with alcohol and certain parts of water the salts and gums of medicine should be taken after dissolving in water only if we are going to make medicine from dry and weak substances we have to prepare some solution or infusion by cutting them in small pieces and pour boiling water in it and then we are going to administer for a proving procedure we are going to add certain spirit or alcohol in vegetable or animal medicinal substances to prevent fermentation or decaying process every medicinal substance must be taken quite alone and perfectly pure prover must not take any substance which have any other medicinal property during the proving experiment now precautions regarding prover prover should not take any medicinal or foreign substance during the experiment of drug proving the precaution regarding diet of prover is explained in aphorism number 125 the diet must contain simple nutritional and easily digestible food the food items with some medicinal properties like herbs vegetables etc which can modify the action of proving medicine those all can be avoided highly spiced and seasoned food must be avoided approver must not take wine brandy coffee or other beverages because they tend to produce exalted state of mental activity and compels prover to react in increase or decrease manner against stimulus this will produce wrong picture of medicine during proving the third precaution is over exertion of mind and body should be avoided over exertion with mental or physical activities where the person's vital energy is going to exhausted and he is not going to perform the task of drug proving very well also over exertion makes body susceptible to disease and if prover falls sick during proving then the whole experiment is in trouble prover must take light exercise with healthy routine work next precaution is prover must avoid all passionate activities as all of them are going to make certain physiological changes and which is going to affect the final result of experiment prover must devote all his time to observe the symptoms appeared in his normal health prover must avoid all that task which increase the tension or certain stress in his mind or body he must avoid all activities that distract him from work of proving now we are going to discuss the dose and administration of medicine during the proving experiment after preparing medicine by following all principles of homeopathic drug preparation and with all needed precautions it should be administered to prover in following way it is advisable to start proving with small dose which is written in aphorism number 129 as the action of medicine cannot be judged before proving it may have variable amount of energy and capacity to produce morbid state every medicine is having different action on different individual which depends on so many factors like constitution and circumstances etc on the other hand weak medicine can act in low doses in a robust person and strong medicine needs large doses for action in sensitive individual 
looking to this uncertainty of action of medicine in different individual it's good to start with small doses then never start with a large doses large doses can produce very intense symptoms which may be dangerous for provers life there might be possibility that large dose can produce direct secondary action sometimes it may produce mixed picture with primary and secondary action so large dose of medicine is going to produce very intense primary actions which are mixed with a secondary action of a medicine so it is always going to prove harmful to the provers life start proving with a small dose and increase the dose as per need medicine should be given to prover on an empty stomach daily 4 to 6 very small globules moistened with little water which is given in aphorism number 128 if the effect from a dose is slight few is very slight or superficial you can add few more globules and advise the prover to take daily until the symptoms become more distinct and clear weak medicine should be proved on healthy delicate and irritable prover now the guidelines on recording of symptoms when the first dose is sufficient strong it will produce its effect on organism and prover will start to observe changes in his normal health now here i am going to put one another point on some repetition of medicine is we are not going to repeat the medicine until the first dose is going to exhaust it and completes producing the symptoms okay so after the dose of medicine has started producing certain symptoms we are going to stop the repetition of medicine and just allow the medicinal action to complete in its whole manner okay as you feel that the medicinal action has exhausted then and then you are going to repeat the further doses of a medicine in same potency or in a higher potency so again with the recording of symptoms prover should observe and note down all his expression of morbid state without any modification so prover should be given a record book which is known as a day book and he advised to note down each and every change of his healthy state to record to note down to write down in day book with time with each characteristic factors prover must be able to differentiate primary action and alternative symptoms of medicine prover must note down each symptoms with exact time of their appearance by comparison of this different data we can judge the duration of action of particular medicine confusing symptoms or opposite states should be noted down separately in bracket and should be confirmed afterwards sometimes because of action of medicine or prover's own constitutional quality alternating or secondary symptoms will appear during proving so they must be kept separately and confirmed afterwards every symptom must be completed under the headings of exact location characteristic sensation its aggravating and ameliorating factors which is given in aphorism number 133 so here i had discussed every guidelines given by master hanuman in aphorism number 105 to 145 for the topic of drug proving i had mentioned the number of aphorisms also so if you want to refer the aphorism you can refer in organ of medicine if you have any doubts or any queries you can 
write down in comment section and for more topics like this you can visit my blog and my youtube channel thank you for watching this video keep learning